Hello and welcome gorgeous Aries to your weekly reading. I hope everyone is doing really well. Let's take a look at your cards and the messages that spirit would like to bring through for you. Be sure to connect in with your own intuition throughout the reading. This is how spirit speaks directly to you of course. You may see a sign or a symbol, a message on one or several of the cards if you do take notice of that because there is a message there from spirit for your situation. So let's take a look at your first. I was going to pull three for you, Aries, but I actually feel there's four cards here that need to be shown to you. So let's take a look at what they reveal. So Aries, something has been uh, a little bit serious. Um, now that may have already happened. Um, something serious has happened and you haven't had much time for yourself. Um, it's time to have some fun. And bring some joy back into your life, Aries. Um, there's a seriousness that may still be around you. That's fine. But Spirit is uh, saying you have to do something uh, maybe more social if you've been isolated. Or just um, kind of move forward with, um, with the intention of having some time for yourself to... Um, enjoy, actually enjoy what you're doing. And now it says on the card, the dolphins know the importance of playing as joy creates miracles and manifestation. So in fact, if you decide that when spirit is encouraging you to do this, if you decide to move forward this week with more time for yourself, more play time, then miracles and manifestation, things will start to shift energetically for you. Okay, so, so that's really important to note. So we've got that card there for you, Aries. Let's take a look at your next card. Self-employment may be something that you're wanting to do. You might be self-employed. You're a born entrepreneur and your business is surrounded by magical opportunities. There's going to be an opportunity that comes in um, and it's connected to business. It's connected to self-employment or your career. If you are not self-employed, that's okay. This card still relates to employment and uh, so there's a magical opportunity that's going to show up for you uh, maybe this week maybe you already have an idea of what this is um, definitely over the coming weeks there's going to be um, opportunities that show up in your employment or in your career or your job you have a soulmate relationship now a new romance with a spiritual basis is here for you now. It does feel like it, there's a newness. So even if you are in a relationship, there's going to be a new connectedness that happens, um, that is happening. So this is a beautiful card and it's a beautiful message for you. Um, there's, a, there's new connectedness with a soulmate. I love it. Beautiful. A new dawn. The worst is now behind you and positive new experiences are on the horizon. So if you've been going through a tumultuous time over the last few weeks or months, Aries, in whatever area of life, know that it is now past the, the worst of it. The worst of the feelings, the worst of the circumstances are actually behind you. And you can look forward to a positive new energy which will mean shifts are happening, changes are happening in a positive way. New people may be coming into your life, but definitely new experiences. There is a new dawn. Maybe there's a new dawn in a relationship when we connect up these cards, a new dawn in a relationship. Yeah. Okay, let's see what this deck reveals. Guidance for Aries, please, spirit. Let's take four cards here as well. Why not? Unconditional love. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Love yourself, others in every situation. And this can be really hard to do if you're not feeling it. You know, it, and that's what I feel, Aries. Sometimes you're just not going to feel it this week. You're not going to feel like you want to love yourself or others or every situation that you're involved in. You're just not. And that's okay. Um... Spirit's just encouraging you to be aware that love will help uplift the 
vibration of the situation where you're not maybe feeling it. Um, so yeah, love yourself, others in every situation, no matter what the outward appearances may actually be. Cycles and rhythms, you're moving into a new cycle, which means that an old cycle has come to pass. It's actually over, it's finished, it's finalized. Honor the cycles of your body, energy levels and emotions. So you're going to go through a cycle uh, with your emotions this week or with your energy levels and you just have to ride that out. You have to be aware that it's a rhythm, that it's a cycle and, uh, you know, it's not stagnant. Things are going to be in flux. Things are changing. So don't worry too much if you're feeling over emotional or overwhelmed, for example, um, it will pass. Um, if you're feeling low on energy, um, that too will pass. And of course, spirit may be speaking of more uh, kind of bigger cycles that are coming to a close and new beginnings happening. Fairness. Um, have you been treated unfairly by someone? Aries, I can sense that you have been. Someone has treated you unfairly. The scales have come out now, though, or they will be coming out if it's not evident at the moment in your life. The scales are going to come out, meaning a balance, a balancing of the scales. This situation will be handled in a fair and just manner. So don't worry. Uh, you know, if someone's treated you poorly, they're going to get theirs. Karma is coming around. Mm. you do have a bright future stop worrying and that's what I was feeling maybe you are worrying too much you know with this play card over here it can indicate that you are kind of caught up in your mind and you're thinking about things a lot maybe you're worrying about something everything is going to be fine and that's an important message. It's a simple message, but an important message. Everything is going to work out okay, especially in related in relation to this fairness or this justice, mm -hmm. whatever that represents for you, Aries. Let's see here. Guidance for Aries, please, spirit. It's time to decide. You have a decision it's time to clearly make a decision about what you want. What do you want? This is going to, you know, you'll know what spirit's talking about here for you, what situation this is for you, Aries. You know what you have to decide upon. Now, you may not have come up with a solution yet. You may not have come up with a decision yet. This week, um, it, it's kind of the energy is moving you to maybe, maybe take little steps towards a decision. Clearly decide. Love heals fear. The power of your love can help bullies and angry people to be less afraid. That's interesting. You may have a situation, a relationship where someone is bullying you or, you know, they just have treated you unfairly because we have the fairness card here. Someone has treated you unfairly. There's no need for you to be afraid because of someone else's actions. Let go of stress. Please, Aries, let go of stress and let the joy flow through into your life. Um, don't take on other people's stress. Breathe it out now. That's a that's a message for someone. You're taking on someone else's stress, their worry. You're thinking too much about them or what they have done or, uh, you know, the future perhaps. You're fearful of the future or, you know, you're, you're stressed about it. Um, yeah, don't take on other people's stress and breathe out whatever is stressing you. So take some time to de-stress. It's okay to be different. It's okay to be unique. It's okay to be authentically you. You don't need to be like everyone else. You're perfect just as you are. So please remember that beautiful Aries this week. You are perfect just as you are. It's okay to be different. I feel two of these cards from this deck. Let's see. Give back. 
So you've been thinking about giving back in some way, giving back to someone, an organization, maybe volunteering, giving back. Today is the day to cast aside normal routines and make your main purpose to serve. So yeah, that's the energy here, main purpose to serve. It is about giving back without any thoughts or expectation of getting anything in return. It's not about getting a return. Reach out and touch other people's spirits as it's highly likely that someone really needs it today. Okay, so that's important to know. And that's kind of where you're at. It's also okay to ask. Just ask for help and assistance if you need it. Um, you have someone in spirit here that you can call upon or that's help trying to help you with, um, with a situation right now. Family member, I feel, that's passed over. There are many here in the spirit world that can assist you at this time. We are made up of the divine source, your loved ones, friends, guides, angels, and spirit helpers who are waiting to assist you. We are your spiritual team and all you have to do is ask for a help and guidance. So you can just ask. You know, this might also play out in a very real way. This week you might be asking for help, someone to stand by you in some respect, um, in the workplace perhaps, or in your personal life. Guidance for Aries, please, spirit. Okay, so we have the Guardian of Action and it's time for you to step up and be a leader or be the leader in a situation. Your natural leadership skills are being called into action. This is your moment in the sun. So move into the light and shine for all to see. This card is also about a person who has charisma, is inspiring, enjoys a challenge and loves the spotlight. You're going to be thrown into the spotlight in some way, maybe with a boss or a higher up in your workplace. Um, but there might be an interest here romantically as well. Someone really wants to get to know you. Um, it's your moment in the sun. Move into the light. Um, you kind of have to take a leadership role in some respect as well. Now, Aries, we have this energy of fair decisions again. Fairness, justice, the balancing of the scales. Your angels are aware that you have concerns, but be assured there's nothing to worry about. So we have that also. Uh, the message here, let go of stress. Uh, don't worry uh, so much um, about a situation that you have been. Stand your ground and know that heaven is shining its divine light upon the situation and all is being healed. OK, that's that's the thing. All is being healed. Take the time to review all the details thoroughly, though, and forgiveness will bring peace to everyone involved. So forgiveness may be necessary in this situation. The nine of action. OK. Uh, you've worked hard to create the things that you cherish in your life. OK, so you know what that is. You know what you cherish in your life. You know what spirit's talking about here. It might be beloved relationships or accomplishments or your home. Rest assured that these treasures and you are being constantly protected by your angels. There's also um, an animal element, uh, element here, Mother Earth energy and environmental protection as well. So there might be something there for you that spirit is touching upon. There is going to be a win-win solution to a difficulty. There's strength in diversity by blending the ideas of other people with your own. You can often come up with a solution that's magnificent. So you really are working together harmoniously with another or as harmoniously as possible at this time. Start by focusing on the aspects that everyone agrees upon and then open your mind to compromise and working together. That seems to be a big theme, working together with others, stay balanced and seek out a moderate approach. And two more cards here. So we have the seven of action. You're being called upon to claim your personal power. This is the lesson in a difficult situation, Aries, at the moment. You're being called upon to claim your personal power. Feel confident as your angels will give you the strength to say no when it's the right thing to do for yourself. Your struggle may actually stem from an unresolved inner conflict, perhaps maybe rather than a conflict with others. And the helper of thought, your life is about to start moving very fast. So expect some sudden changes. 
Your prayers are going to be answered. That's the message I'm receiving. Your prayers are going to be answered. Bringing more joy and playfulness into your life. I see tears of joy in a beautiful connection that you have. Uh, you'll be overwhelmed with positive emotion. That's the tears of joy. And this may be in a relationship or a renewal of a relationship. It might be in your workplace perhaps. But whatever it is, Spirit's saying there's a bright future here. There is a bright future. So things will start moving very fast. Events that seem to be on hold suddenly require your attention or they start to move. There's no time to sit and ponder. You've got to get moving. Okay, so maybe that's where this decision, it's time to decide, comes in. Review the details as best you can. You know we'll meet or ask someone with a very quick mind who instantly grasps what to do. This person is both confident and courageous. This is your energy for the week ahead. Confident and courageous. Powerful energy is coming through Aries. I hope um, Spirit has come through with some important messages. Um, have a fantastic week. Take care, stay blessed, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.